Hi, John here. Um, today is um, Tuesday, the um, 17th of October 2017. I just come back from um, Absolute Physio with uh, Maggie in Manukau City. I just want to show you my. Um, whoops, that's not good. I just want to show you my. Here, cupping. Suck some blood out. And I've got a video to show you what it looks like. And then this is what happens. See? There? And down here. Along here. Cupping. Cupping. And needles. Needles all around. So now I'm feeling pretty super. I took some readings on my blood pressure. And it was right up, but it doesn't matter because I'm pushing myself on the uh, machines in the gym, and um, <clears throat> I'll push it right to the limit, right past 150 on the heart uh, monitor. So today I write in my book. I write in my book um, the readings every time I have something to eat and also um, when I'm resting and when I get up in the morning and to see what the readings are of what's affecting my heart, what makes the pressure go up. I found that just thinking about something goes straight up. I've, I've, I've learned now that when I'm thinking about something it goes right up. There's my readings there if you can see it, I'll read them out in a minute. But um, I got this exercise book full of full of all the readings every day. Right back, I started this regime with all the readings. Put this heart monitor here and my Fitbit. So at the moment, it's still reading high, 71, because I had a long walk back from Papatai Tai. I bought me some fish on the way back and got off the bus and thought I'll do some walking instead of going to the gym today because I had a big run in the gym yesterday. I pushed, <clears throat> I'm going to put the videos on after to show you how much pressure I put on myself in the gym. That's running on a 12 speed, that's really running. It went right up to 150 on the um, cardio. Um, so I'm just going to, time is 2.41, this is what I do, 2.41 p.m. PM and uh, today is Tuesday, 17th October 2014. I usually let myself settle down first before I take a reading with the monitor. I've noticed now that if I press it twice on the monitor, it will give me a higher, higher reading on a second time to push the pressure right up. It, that's what happened today, went up to 241 when it normally goes to 180 or about 190 at the most on this arm machine. I'm waiting for my wrist one, should be in the mail soon. So I'll put that one on. I do this at least five or six times a day so that I have a, a reading at every time to check on progress. So that means I can then monitor myself on the systolic, that's the blood going from the um, heart to diastolic, that's the blood coming back, pressure coming back to the heart, and the pulse on this machine and this one. Okay, so religiously, I did this in uh, Maggie's um, clinic. I did my, <coughs> my readings in there. <coughs> I've still got a little bit of a cough, but nothing much to write about. Uh, so I'll do my Fitbit on my, my pulse oximeter on the left finger, the first two fingers, and the oxy reads, left, reads 94 over 96. Now that's high. Um, because I've just come back from a long run, a long walk from Papatoi, 
and I want to see what it looks like after after a long walk. So I'm still winding down uh, with uh, my blood pressure. The second finger is 77 over 97, and then on the right side, the right side, right finger, right finger there, there, the first right finger. Right here we go. Um, 90 over 93, 90 over 93, that's high, 90 over 93. The thing is, it's high, but I'm coping with it, and I'm eliminating the problem, better than a doctor would. He just jammed me up with drugs, and that's all he, he's all about, drugs. He gets a bonus for selling more drugs to you and they can go and jump in the lake. 73, 69, 68, oh, no, 88. I'll just wait for it to settle down. 88, 94, <coughs> jumped up a bit. Okay, that's the way, 88, 94. <coughs> Right, that's that. Now I'll do the, the run up on the um, heart pressure on my arm here and see what it looks like. This is after all the cupping and everything, it's spot on. When I'm walking, it just feels super good. Maggie, you're doing a good job at Physio Absolute. Here it goes, it's going up. It will knock out at. Hundred and eighty. Okay, it clocked out just normal. Hundred and eighty, blood pressure cut out. See what it says. Hundred and thirty one, there you go. That's really good because it's below 147. 131 over 80, over 85. Now what's happened here is, the normal reading is the doctor and this machine is compatible with my nurse. Well, she doesn't come here anymore. She's given up because I'll fix myself up better than they would. And they were getting it all wrong with me. <coughs> now, the reading of 131 systolic, the blood pressure that the heart is going from the heart is 131. The normal is 147. Just tell you. The uh, systolic, the diastolic, is the pressure coming back to the heart is 80. The normal is 85. The blood pressure pulse is 85. The normal is 65. So the blood pressure is higher because I'm puffing from walking a long way. But the blood pressure, according to this, is perfect. Even though it was high at the <coughs> clinic, the um, acupuncture and massage cupping, those the round things you see on my back and along my bottom, uh, that massages you and pulls all the tension out of the body. And also the needles. The needles, they put the needles in for my cough, so I got a bit of Red chest here, red chest. It's going away. It was red. It was completely red. That that what choked me up for the last seven weeks, continuously, and I've managed to fix it up by watching these readings. For anybody that's my age, 68, you can do it too. Not as extreme as what I do on the gym to pull the weight off. I've lost nine kgs in that seven weeks. I was out of it sick and the nurse was trying to stuff me up with more pills and make me take it I said no out of here see because now I'm looking better I'm feeling better and I still got the problem is up here in here where the blood pressure is highest returning back to the heart okay but it's looking normal at 80 
on the return to the heart. So it's normal. And my heart's normal. And I didn't have any pain after pushing 200 kgs on the um, leg press and 40 kgs up like this and 100 over 100 kg on my stomach muscles and my arms pulling like that and pulling back that way on my stomach. I never see anybody do that, it'll rip their guts out. They won't do that. That's not recommended to anybody to do that. So now, the first reading I had at Maggie's, oh, I'm gonna take the Fitbit. Fitbit's sitting at 55, look at that, 55. It's right down. I wish my nurse is looking at this video because there's my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. There's, there's 55, all right? Let me see it. I've just taken my pulse, my pulse, and it's 58 because I walked, got up and walked around. Look, just shows you the doctors are bullshit. They're full of bullshit. I'm gonna show you what they've done to me. They've ruined me, and I'm gonna build them for it. I'm going to build them for these years. They have kept me on drugs and got no better. And here I am with Maggie fixing it up naturally. And the rungo, the rungo in the in a bottle. Rungo in the bottle. Here, yeah, the manuka honey. Manuka honey. And I put it on. The, the worst part of me is here, where the blood pressure is getting stuffed up. The high blood pressure is here and here at the back base and not my heart where the doctors blame. They said my arteries was, was need a stent to open it up, you know, open your bloody head up. I'll open up with my fist. That's all your, 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 your cannibals. You see? Now this is where my problem is. I just put this wrong all. This is the native manuka honey and manuka trees, the tweeds inside inside the rungo. This is homemade stuff, people. Oh, you can see a little bit of leaf in there. A little bit of leaf, but the twigs are in, in, inside. You can see the twigs inside the bottle. Look, there's the leaves of the of the trees, of the of the native trees that really I rub it. I rub it on my neck, on my neck here, like that, on my ear, and on my back, on my kidneys. See, like that. Now you can see. See. Now I just did my test, 55 Fitbit, and finished at 251. Yeah. 241. 10 minutes. So it took 10 minutes to do this test, and I'll tell you what I'm feeling super ready to do business against this Crown Corporation thugs in New Zealand. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're going to do it. And here, I'm going to screen print this book, this book that I put together, here. This is the Magistrate Court book. I'm going to finish it off shortly and get stuck into it. Um, but I'll just put this video on and the video in Maggie's um, therapy room and she's done a terrific job she's really listened to what I'm saying about where the problems are with me and she's nailed it thank you Maggie thank you absolute therapy in Manukau City uh, 16 Lambie Drive if anybody wants to go there go see Maggie Han she's terrific for this and she knows what she's doing and it's been a long time since she gave me cupping up here. Cupping. I sucked the blood out. You'll see the other video. The blood's sucked out. That's, she said, looks a bit better. It's not as sticky. So that means it's improving. And all the toxins, I get the toxins out of my body. All the bread and the milk and everything's got stuffed full of toxins of the food I've been eating. I'll just chuck it away now and just eat hot chilies. That's what makes the blood pressure go down. Hot chilies. 
I've just finished fish and chips for lunch and see it dropped the fish the fish is what's missing in the diet fish so I need to eat more fish and chili noodle um, hot chili hot hot really hot hot chili with a little bit of steak chopped up in it that's it and a bit of ice cream but not too much no sugars or little little sugar as possible and organic tea uh, organic coffee so I just massage my, my neck but uh, my, my new my new girlfriend can massage me and keep me going I'm going to meet up with her in Philippines and I want to go and see President Duterte Rodriguez Duterte he says Obama and the Americans are a son of a bitch he's right they're son of bitches over there in Israel Saudi Arabia all those thuggy countries UN Pope you name it Jesuits <coughs> Queen Rothschild family a whole bang lot of them that gives me a headache but you see I'm full of muscles and legs popping good they're a bit stiff from 200 kg pushing the leg push but we'll be right, we'll be right tomorrow okay that's all we'll see you later have a nice day bye